What is going on, guys? Welcome back. A commentary for you. I want to thank my sponsor, Steel Supplements. Link and discount code down in the description. You also know I'm a Weeble Preferred to build your best promotion in the pin comment. All you have to do, click the link, open an account, agree to the terms and conditions. They are going to give you free stock. And yet again, here we are taking a look at Madden 24 gameplay with a lot of questions as to how this game actually has the NFL simulation football agreement because it is really anything but simulation football. First play we're going to take a look at here involves O.J. Howard, who is no longer on the Raiders, but we'll let that go, and Mark Webb Jr. And I know that EA's focal point is this, the, the stupid post-play celebration garbage that makes you think that you've done something, but when you take a look at this play, you have a safety that just doesn't have any respect for the ball. And I find it very ironic that in a situation where it's man-to-man, -man, I would have no issue with O.J. Howard boxing out Mark Webb, using his size or his frame, maybe even having the ball be thrown into an area where he could only catch it based on his size, but the safety doesn't even attempt anything. I mean, at this point, when you see the drop back, the safety has to sell out and play underneath. You can't just sit there and trail the receiver. And when you watch this pass get completed, set the, the pinpoint accuracy aside. It's a diving catch. And you see that he ends up riding him like a pony. You know, why? If he can sit there and ride him like a pony after the play, why can't he sell out and try to deflect the pass by diving underneath it. There's no respect for the pass arc in this game. And then, as I said, the only thing EA wants you to focus on is this stupid post-play dance that they do. You know, if they would stop focusing on stuff like this that doesn't impact the game, and instead focus on X's and O's, and have players play right, then you really wouldn't have the need to sell that type of stuff in your game. There's nothing simulation about celebrations. When you have a player that you can see the pass trajectory coming in, doesn't even attempt to make a play on the ball, and allows a larger player to do a acrobatic catch, and basically just stands there and allows himself to become posterized. Doesn't even make an attempt on the ball. Just literally runs behind him. Might as well not even been there. So that's one of the big problems I have with this game. Everyone should have with this game. If this is Madden Ultimate Team, why are you paying for the safety as a player? Because they're not doing anything. Now, from there, we're going to move on to a little bit different scenario, but it comes down to just not having enough animations in this game. Drop back, throw. Now, listen, you, you've got an elite receiver in Devontae Adams here, right? I would expect that Devontae Adams would have a complete arsenal of all the catch animations that the game has to offer. But again, when you're so dependent on animations, you're going to see trademark things with EA Sports. If you've played this game, things that you look at and you say, hey, I've had that happen to me. I know what that looks like. When you have players that as the quarterback drops back and you see this throw go up, I want you to understand that the pass trajectory has this landing in an area where there are two Raiders that are close to the ball. There are three Chargers that are further away. So why does no Raider even attempt a catch animation? We're going to zoom in. They don't even attempt it. You see, Adams gets pulled away. There's no need to pull him away. And then the Charger that was the furthest away actually goes and gets the interception. Now, listen, you can sit here and say it's Derwin James, EA's favorite gamer. But the reality is... He's standing right beside a Raider that never even made an attempt, and that's who the ball was intended for. It's intended for the receiver, not the defensive back. Now, as we start to go upfield and do this return, very interesting scenario that happens right here. Because physics-based gameplay, right? You've got an offensive lineman, and you've got a safety. And they're squared up on each other. You can look at the height, the weight, all you want. I think we know... In real life, what happens when these two players hit each other? And I understand that some people will say, well, Derman James is in the midst of a juke. They're going to make contact. And this lineman 
should be respected, not bounced off of. Now also, very important, I want you to watch this interaction right here. I want you to watch how these two players interact with each other trying to get toward the goal line. And remember how many times Madden kind of messes with movements of players to make it look like you could almost get there but didn't. Because they start kind of bumping into each other and slowing each other down. James can't get out of the way of the other corner. And to me, that's just very conveniently timed. That the player that barely didn't make the tackle was the player that was getting oddly bumped into the entire time they were running down the field. These are EA-only issues. When I play the show, you don't have these trademark, nuance animation issues. You don't have a scenario where you look and see a ball going out, and you know that a catch won't register based on where the player is. Yeah, you have some things where maybe the player goes to pick up the ball, holds it as he throws it, because he doesn't get the release point right. But EA, if you've played this game long enough... You get used to things that happen in this game that are wrong. And I touched on this, since we're done with gameplay, I touched on this in the last video, but I wanted to touch on it just that much more. What is this player model? You cannot tell me that this game has not made strides backwards in its graphics. That used to be the biggest redeeming quality of this game, right? Mad might have played terrible. Mad might have been repetitive, but at least when you paused the game, at least when it went to the cutscenes, it looked good. Now it doesn't even have that. This player is anatomically horrible. The jersey looks awful. This looks like, for all the other games in the marketplace, that people sit there and say, oh, this looks like N64. Oh, this looks like the Jaguar console. Oh, this looks like it's from 3DO. This truly looks like it's like from Super Nintendo. Why does the game look this bad? It's certainly not because they're putting in all these animations. It's certainly not because they put in a physics-based gameplay system. So where did we lose all our graphics quality and still have the same poor playing game year after year after year? Because I'm sorry, that's not what I expect on a next-gen console. That's what I expected two console generations ago. But as we know, EA's number one thing is to oversell, underdeliver every single year, and they find new and innovative ways to make you hate this game each year. And this year is going to be no different. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching this video. And you know, as long as a game continues to play this bad, there is no way, and, and look this bad too. It's not just playing bad now. It's advanced to looking bad. There is no way that I will not be back in the wake with more commentary.